it's Wednesday. I'm literally only starting work today. I haven't done anything Monday or Tuesday. And now the Alec Baldwin trial has started, so <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm only going to be doing the bare minimum this week, I think, because I'm probably just going to get obsessed with this trial now. Um, I'll, I'll do my orders and I've got a lot of colours that need wrapped that I've made so I'll do the labels, I'll do the wrappers for those. I'll just be doing little bits that I can do while I'm watching the trial as well and I can still do some paint making as well um, and lots of artwork. Hopefully I'm going to be doing lots of artwork this week. Uh, that's something I can do while I'm watching the trial. And she did not seem to have a very good handle over the lawyers in that room. And I can only imagine with the army of lawyers in which Alec is- It is one of my favorite tools in the studio. It accomplishes an awful lot with just one punch. And I love that. I've got a couple of packages just being delivered from Amazon. I'm in a colouring book mood at the moment, so I have ordered some colouring books, but the thing is I've ordered three, and two were coming in one package, and one was coming in another package, and they've just delivered these, that's obviously not a colouring book, and I'm pretty sure there's only two books in this, and it's saying that they've all been delivered, so I'm a little bit worried, unless there's three books in this, but I think there's probably only two. Uh, yeah, it's okay. All three books are in the one package. So this is what I've ordered. So Trace and Explore. So it's a different kind of colouring book because you it's got very faint lines. You can trace the lines with black pen and yeah, I think that'll be really, really therapeutic. I do love um, like inking with black pens and these pictures look absolutely lovely they look really really nice so I literally just seen these on Amazon a couple of days ago and I've never seen them before so I don't know whether it's a new thing just starting or it's just something that's just gone right over my head and also this one official ink tracing oh yeah and I forgot to say obviously once you've traced it you can then color the pictures if you want to i might just do the tracing part or on the other hand if you didn't want um thick black lines you could just color it in like this and those lines will probably disappear once you got you know your colored pencil on there this particular one there's like quite a few different versions so this one's beautiful nature scenes yeah and so this one it's a similar type of thing but the, the lines are white and it's kind of like, like a watercolored background and the white lines are on there and you just trace the white lines. So this is gonna be good because I've got absolutely tons of fine liners that I've collected up from subscription boxes. So now I've got something to use them for. And then, I know I'm pretty late to the game with this, I did see these quite a while back on YouTube. I didn't watch any videos about them, so I wasn't really sure, but I just saw, I just saw the people, I kept seeing this everywhere, all over YouTube, reverse colouring book, but I didn't actually take a look at any of those videos because I just wasn't really in a colouring book mood. So I never really knew what it was about. And so I watched a couple of videos a couple of days ago of other people um, showing these and they look absolutely amazing although i will say this is the ones that i saw they were it, they did look as saturated as this they looked a little bit more wishy-washy and these are like quite strong colors so i'm sure most people watching will know a hell of a lot more than me what these books are all about but if you don't You've got all these kind of watercolour patterns and then you just doodle over the top of them. You know, you can outline them or you can do kind of like zentangle patterns and stuff over them or you can just look for shapes to draw. You know, like you would look for pictures in a cloud um, and then draw around to create that shape. Like, I mean, I think these are supposed to be flowers, but 
for example if you look at this this one here that actually could be the side of a face that could be a cheek and where the eye goes in and then that would be the hair so you could draw that and turn it into a face quite easily yes yeah, so there was a, quite a lot of these as well but i chose this one with the scales the mermaid scales on the front i thought it looks really interesting there is actually quite a lot of pages I like that one. And then I've also ordered this. Now I'm not sure if this will be of any use. So if it doesn't work for what I want it for, I'll have to send it back. I'm always looking for better angles to film um, when I'm doing artwork on the desk. So I'm going to attempt to attach my camera to like a chest like a, this is like a chest strap the thing that I'm worried about is if the camera is just going to be facing out and it's not going to be facing down on the desk so I might be able to adjust it and make it tilt down yeah it does tilt down so this is it recording now which is really good and really plays really that I can tilt it like this in different directions up and down but because I'm only short I'm, I think I'm a little bit too close to the um, table just kind of see what this looks like if I my hands are gonna look massive like in front of it so if I'm drawing or something it's yeah I think it needs to be a bit higher I could maybe just adjust it and have it further up oh yeah that is better <gasps> oh my god that's brilliant. That is so good. Oh, I am so glad I got this. I've just stood up from this chair and I've literally been sitting on a pair of scissors and I didn't even notice. How ridiculous is that? I did feel some discomfort and then I pulled this out from underneath me. I'd been sitting on that. Obviously a pair of scissors as well, but never noticed the scissors.
Okay, just been out shopping. So I'll just do a little mini haul of what I got. So I've got some. So I've been to Aldi, and in Aldi I got some jumbo king prawns. I've got these protein meals, a beef a ragu, and teriyaki noodles. And they've got 32 grams of protein in 31. Would it's unlikely I'll be able to eat the whole thing, but it's still like fairly high protein meal. Got this cheese and tomato heat and go um sandwich that'll be like a nice crispy sandwich when it's cooked. I got some of these caramel crunch to try, which are a copy, I think they're a copy of Toffee Crisps, which I love, so try those. This little packet of mini gums, some buffalo wing flavour crinkle cut crisps. I got these protein shakes to try, Algae's own, they're only 79 pence, which that's cheaper than the other ones, even when the other ones are on offer. I don't think I've seen protein shakes that cheap before, so I'll see what these are like. I've got a strawberry to try and a chocolate. I've got these um, salt and pepper dusted bassy fillets. So we normally get these in the Young's, the branded ones. But Aldi are now doing a cheaper version, so I'll try that. I'm gonna try those. We also got this to try. It's like a katsu chicken um type of sushi. And then these look quite nice. The heated chicken thigh fillets and Mediterranean chicken thigh fillets. Now I prefer chicken thigh to chicken breast. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper. I think these ones are like one pound something. They were just under two pound. But the, the chicken breast ones are around three pound. So then Morrison's, I got a bottle of sweet teriyaki sauce, the blue dragon one. That's absolutely lovely. And I use that in loads of different things. Um, I've got some toothpaste. It's like one of those whitening toothpastes to try. Um, I think these are new for cheddar and caramelised onion burger melts and the Monterey Jack and Barbecue Burger Melts and a packet of brioche buns. Now I think these were these were so much cheaper than the branded ones. The branded ones were £2.79 for six. And these ones, I think they were either 135 or 145. There is only four in it, but it still works out a lot cheaper. And they do look nice. So I'm going to try those. So that's my little mini shopping haul for today. I've been trying out this neurographic art. And it is really therapeutic to do. Now, I was really, really pleased with the black line work. And I didn't actually film that on its own. I wish I had because I really liked it. And then I decided to colour it in with these um, brush pens. And I've kind of ruined it. Um, I don't like these brush pens at all. The colour's too strong. I was expecting it to be kind of pastel colours. You know, like much lighter. Because if you look at the packet here... The colours on the packet are really deceiving. They look really light. And when you actually use them in reality, they're quite dark and saturated. The light grey one's okay, but the other ones are really not very nice at all. I got these pens in a subscription box, I think. And I've got two boxes, two different sets and the different colours. And they look absolutely beautiful on the front of their boxes but they're just not when you use them. So I might try doing some of this neurographic art over the reverse colouring book. I think I've seen other people doing that. And this is a little update on my circle of life colouring that I'm currently working on. So I'm colouring this snail. I'm using polychromos and I've decided to go for multicoloured dots and this is as far as I've got.
moment when she put that bullet in that gun, safety has to occur before the gun is placed in the actor's hands. In this case, this unique case on a movie set, the prop gun was placed in Mr. Baldwin's hands. Even at the end of the day, they're still enjoying Now, and with some discriminatory language and images of the aftermath of violence, it's Emmerdale. If you... It's one of those five exceptions me, so... He's had a little bit of luck, bit of luck but we've all, you know, we all need a bit of luck. He's made some big decisions before this tournament. People like Grealish and Rashford. Everyone raised an eyebrow when, um, when he made them decisions. He's done a brilliant job. Well, if you've ever got to tap into a uh, better man, I think that anybody who played with Gareth, worked with Gareth, you have obviously here as well. He's a brilliant person. He deserves it sometimes.
pickerel. I love it. Oh, gee. Uh, how you say
So I'm having this teriyaki noodles protein one that I got from Aldi. Now I tried a little bit of the sauce and it was absolutely vile, really not very nice at all. So I added some of my own sweet teriyaki sauce in. Um, it's a little bit better, but I don't think I'll be getting any more of these. Sometimes I wonder about the people who actually taste these foods and I just wonder what planet they're on. Like the flavour is so horrible. Like how is it passing these taste testers?
okay so it's now Saturday evening I haven't really done much I didn't think I would do much this week I've made no paint I've made no new paint at all the Alec Baldwin case finished last night and it was absolutely crazy it was dismissed from court because the prosecution had been hiding some evidence so it got through out of court so that's that it was so dramatic I was literally I couldn't believe what I was watching. I've, I've never watched a case like that before. It was absolutely nuts. That prosecution woman is just nuts. So if you haven't been following the Alec Baldwin trial or you haven't heard what happened, the prosecution had been hiding evidence and lied about it. The prosecution, I, I don't know the exact terminology, but the woman who was the main prosecutor in the court case, ended up on the stand giving evidence and was then cross-examined by the defence witness. The jury had been sent home, so they'd been found to be lying and so the judge just dismissed it. So we never really got to hear the rest of all the evidence and the details about whether Alec, you know, had done something wrong or not. I mean, in my opinion, which I probably shouldn't give my opinion on YouTube, but I think he was negligent because he didn't check that gun. And I think that because when it first happened, it's because George Clooney said publicly that the actors always, always, always check the gun and that he should have done that. And so that's stuck in my mind now. So I've basically got my opinion off George Clooney. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he didn't mean to kill anyone and it's awful. But... He was quite negligent, anyhow. That's it now. So, but what was really, really shocking is when the prosecution woman was on the stand and then the defence lawyer was questioning her and he, and he said, you don't like Alec Baldwin, do you? Um, is it true that you called him a... And is it true that you said you were going to teach him a lesson and he's an arrogant prick? I was like... It was just shocking. She denied it all. Um, yeah, so that's that anyhow. So anyways, it's Saturday and I'm going to do some artwork now. I'm getting the Sarah Burns gouache book out again. Uh, sorry, I'm getting the... I'm going to use my own reference and try and do a painting myself. Good news, box two has been posted. So hopefully in next week's vlog I'll be unboxing that. So this is as far as I've got. It's Saturday night again. I need to go and edit the vlog. I've got half of it edited, but I need to edit the rest. So I've got the sketch started. Um, obviously need miles more practice drawing these sheep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little practice on the iPad in the house just while I'm um, watching television and try and get better and then come back and hopefully my main sketch will be a lot better. <laughs> 